supply chain issues and rising prices are putting a real dent in holiday cheer. Shoppers can expect many items like Christmas trees to be harder to come by and a whole lot costlier this season. Karina Mitchell introduces us to one New Yorker who is going out on a limb to try to ensure the inflation Grinch doesn't steal Christmas. This year, getting just the right Christmas tree may be something you have to put on your wish list for Santa. The holiday staple is just another thing harder to come by this season. You wait until December 20th, you might have a problem. Greg Walsh should know. The trees love this. They love the... Uh... For more than three decades, he's been spreading holiday joy to New Yorkers. He and his elves transformed local parks and beer gardens into vibrant winter wonderscapes, like this one on Manhattan's Lower East Side. He also has multiple stands in Brooklyn. He's the guy many flock to for their perfect tree and decorations. Why are you shopping earlier this year? Um, I saw they just got all the trees out. Last year I was a little bit late to the game, so I want to make sure I can get a nice top choice. The prices at Greg's Trees have always been reasonable, but are 10 to 20 percent more this year due to supply chain issues and rising labor costs. Labor is my biggest expense outside of the trees, by a lot. And uh, the guys do very well here. I pay them well. They work very, very hard. This is a, this is a rough gig. Those supply and inflationary pressures have translated into higher costs for many tree vendors. Walsh emphasizes he's been working with suppliers in Canada and the U.S. for a year to ensure ample supply so customers aren't disappointed. But he warns lights and ornaments could run short quickly. All this kind of stuff that comes from China, it's all backed up and they've been raising the price on us all year. And even after the contracts were signed, they added 10%. Despite the challenges, his holiday stands take on a greater meaning this year. In February, Walsh was diagnosed with prostate cancer. It forced him to give up his day job of 18 years as a New York City special education teacher. He's taking a break from treatment till after the holidays, instead focusing on what's most significant to him. The experience is something that's very, very important to me. Like 10 years ago, I decided we weren't just going to have small stands. We are going to try to make them bigger and more fun with cutouts and Santa visits and just to have a little fun doing this and uh, it's worked out showing people the true spirit of the holidays karina mitchell new york one yeah he's a good looking santa too thank you for that karina we'll see